All right, guys, busy day. As you've seen, Zach just put down a nice big time. And now we are in Greenhaven with Captain D. If you guys remember from the past two years, we are back and we're gonna crush him as always. Uh, his info's right here on the bottom of the screen. So make sure you hit him up, get your uh, charter in. We got Gina, Gina's coming out. And then we got our uh, partner, Chris, down there from the United States Army. And we got Doug behind the camera. <laughs> so we're gonna have a good trip. Beautiful day here in Michigan and we're ready to knock it out. So we're gonna take off, so real quick before we go, light jackets are right here underneath the couch, light ring is also there. More important, the bathroom on the right side, there's a foot pedal to flush on the left. Any puke is over the side or in the bucket. If you're sick of the bathroom, you're going home. And <laughs> not happily home, so. That's a good point. When you guys um, book your trip, get yeah. some uh, Dramamine. Yeah, I recommend uh, every time someone does a trip, you know, we always tell everybody if you've been, never been on the lake, if you're unsure, if you're apt to see some this Dramamine, some type of post sickness medication, at least an hour ahead of time. How it's a prevention to you know, make your day a great day versus a disaster. Exactly. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to be getting fish crazy here in a bit. second and we're gonna keep it real basic but if you're looking to join the United States Army have any interest in it all where do you start so we're gonna ask Chris where does somebody start they're thinking about joining what's their next step yeah really the first thing especially with the environment nowadays go to goarmy.com yep. um, give you a lot of information there but also you can put your information in to have a recruiter reach out to you okay uh, a lot of people think when you go talk to a recruiter that's when you're joining not the case. Okay. And they're just there to give you information to yeah. help you in the process. So all the questions that you guys have, you're gonna get the answers once you hook up with a recruiter. So contact them first, they contact you back, hit them up with your questions. Do you meet face to face or is it or because of COVID you're saying that it's not face to face now? Uh well now things are open up we can do both. Uh, okay. A lot, a lot of recruiters will do virtual Okay. Uh, meetings, oh, that's cool. Um, or if, depending on vaccinations, things like that, yeah. different guidelines, we can meet uh, in person too. So okay, cool. So, yeah, so there you go. Get all your uh, questions answered, and then uh, the next step will be between you and your family, what you decide. But they're here to help you, man, and we appreciate it.
So we were, we had a little lull in the action and we thought we'd uh, play with the mate a little bit. So I was able to take one of the rods and make it look like there was a bite and everybody was in on it and it was awesome. So I get the rod to start jerking up and down, the mate's setting the rod up so he looks over and he starts to lunge for it and we tell him no. And then boom, ironically, like simultaneously, one of them takes off. So you can't, you it can't went script from us it. laughing to, to excitement. <laughs> oh yeah, pandemonium. Yeah. And it's a never a dull moment. So it's that's part of being out here. Heck yeah, it's awesome. You never know what's gonna happen. Wendy's restaurant in your area has issued a major bag alert. Major bag alert. The bacon double stack is back in the biggie bag with fries, nugs, and the drink, all for just five bucks. Oh no, that's me. the screen again make sure you contact him uh, Chris here make sure you contact him we'll put his info at the bottom of the screen and Gina what do you think that's another awesome trip fine. and then uh, Chris we, got a workout in I'll he tell did you what, Chris, he really he was, yeah. he was literally a trooper he was <laughs> for the first time coming out on Lake Michigan because Chris is from Kentucky what'd you think about it that was awesome I had a great time yeah and to go figure uh, Kentucky man comes to Lake Michigan and catches the biggest ones. He caught two monsters. So we had we had a couple of great hours. If you guys want a great trip, book a half a day or a full day, and you guys are just gonna slaughter them. Easy to find us fishgh.com. Otherwise, Facebook fishgh. Real simple. Sounds good. All right, guys, we're out of here.